I want to show you now a sleeping bag with a difference. First of all, let's just get one little bugbear of mine out of the way. You never seem to be able to get your sleeping bag back into your carry-all. First thing that strikes me about this one, John, plenty of room in there. We had a little play with it earlier on. I could get that back in, no problem yeah. at all. We'll get rid of that. Tell me about the sleeping bag itself. Yeah, it's a five season sleeping bag. A nice uh, peach skin finish on, on it. Uh, it's got a waterproof PVC lined welly wipe there. So you can easily wipe any, any sort of dirt that's on it from when you just sit in it. Uh, on, on the bed chair. I noticed the, the, the loops at the end there to yeah, get onto your bed yeah, chair. Yeah, it's got nice plenty of points uh, that where it can be attached to the bed chair so it won't fall off when, you, when you're asleep and moving around. It's a nice um, size to it as well, nice yeah, and wide. Yeah, most Plenty of, of the bed chairs on the market now you know, are, are extremely wide. It's got to be able to accommodate in any, any bed chair on the market, so sure. it's big enough. Um, it's got nice fleece neck warmer to keep your, you know, keep your neck and Sides of your head, shoulders nice as well. You get that, yeah. that draft ingress That's around your it. shoulders, don't you? It just shows inside. What's the material yeah. inside? It's got a, a, a shiny sort of finish onto it, rather than it being completely fleece lined. A lot of the, a lot of um, sleeping bags are completely fleece lined, which I don't know if you know or not. Depending upon what sleeping bag you've got, the fleece lined ones are so hard to move about. You just can't. Yeah, you just exactly. twist and yeah. you, you end up. You know. The, the, the uh, sleeping bag's trying to come but it off sticks the bed to you, doesn't it? Yeah. As, as you're moving, it sticks yeah. in it, and, and the bag goes with you, as it were. So what we've done is we've kept the fleece aspect of just at the top half of, of the sleeping bag, so it's right. around your neck, for the warmth, and, and then the, the bottom where your feet. So you, you feel the, the the nice sort of feel of the fleece. Yeah. But then um, the other the hat from here to like the you've got the uh, the nice shiny material, so you can move no, around. No, no, it gives you the yeah. freedom of movement. It's okay. Got a detachable uh, pillow built in, which yeah. you can zip out as well. Bit of a kind of mummy style hood at the yep. top just for that extra warmth as well. Yeah, now zips on either side so you can you know get out of the uh, sleeping bag right. easy as well. So quickly in and quickly yep. out again. There's a key difference to this one. I've never seen it on a sleeping yep. bag before. What's that all about, John? It's just a little little feature that we've come up with. It's basically these hands-free pockets we've got on either side of the actual sleeping bag. It basically allows you to just have use of your hands in, in the middle of the night. If you're fishing in winter and it's extremely cold, what you'd normally have to do is to zip the sleeping bag down here if you want to read or whatever, but you can stay nice and warm uh, with just your hands out there so you, so you can just play with your phone or anything. That's going to be perfect. I was just going to say, texting, yeah. iPads, any of yeah. those things, as you absolutely say, you know, yeah. normally you'd have to roll the bag down just That's to be it. able to do anything. And then obviously there's no yeah. cover here, you're going to get cold. Yeah. I like that a lot. As with a lot of the Sabre products, mate, it's obvious that that's designed with, by a carp angler, yeah. for carp anglers, and those little touches are just what set it a little bit apart from everything yeah, else. That's right. Excellent.